Random crypto bull market thoughts. I have to get on camera right now. Excuse the attire. I just brought out the camera. I want to just, I want to put this out there right now. I'm seeing a lot of people out there that I think are, they're disappointed with the current bull market, right? And I want to just say right from the beginning, we're not in the crypto bull market yet. And I know there's going to be a lot of people that disagree, which is completely cool. But my time over the years in crypto and tracking these cycles, the bull market, the true crypto bull market, when, when people think of a crypto bull market, they're, they're truly thinking of the parabolic higher highs and higher lows, altcoins breaking all time high, altcoins outperforming Bitcoin, that season. That season, every single cycle has happened after the Bitcoin halving. The Bitcoin halving of 2024 has not happened yet. Let me try and illustrate this in the best way possible, especially for people that are, I think are out there that are feeling disappointed. Where are the gains? First off, we've, we've had gains. And this is what's crazy. I'm saying this in this environment where Bitcoin and crypto has seen a lot of gains out of the bear market lows, but we're not in the post having bull market yet. So let me, let me, let me demonstrate this. 2015, 2015 bear market low. Let's, let's just start here. $150. Bitcoin ran from $150 in that bear market low, that capitulation, it ran like 400% to like just below $800. It ran from the bear market low to our bull market doors. The 618 lower high macro Fibonacci that we talk about all the time, the bull market doors. That's like 400% gains prior to the Bitcoin having in that cycle. After that happened, Bitcoin retraced 40%. The first question I want to pose here is, was that move the bull market? Was that the bull market? And should there have been reason to be disappointed when Bitcoin off of that 700 some dollar, 400% gain move to resistance, retrace 40%? Should, should somebody have been disappointed because the bull market was not performing well? The answer is no, because Bitcoin retraced 400, or for, around 40%. Prior to and into consolidation into the next Bitcoin having, and then after the Bitcoin having, Bitcoin absolutely exploded in the parabolic bull run, and it was after the Bitcoin having that that started. And we're talking about Bitcoin running up to like twenty thousand dollars, and then the cycle resets. We fall into another bear market, all the way back down two thousand eighteen bear market low of three thousand dollars, right around three thousand dollars, and then what happens? Out of the bear market low, Bitcoin explodes. It just 300 some percent gains from $3,000 up to around $13,000. I don't know if you remember this. Last bear, exit, last bear cycle. Was that the bull market? That was not the bull market. That was Bitcoin exiting the bear, putting in this massive pivot on the macro. It revisits again the lower high Fibonacci bull market doors almost perfect resistance at 13,000, the 618 line, yet again in the cycle. And then what's it do? It retraces, I think it retraced like 50%. In that moment, I am sure people disappointed with that move because the bull market that we're supposed to be in not performing how it's supposed to be performing. It stalled out at $13,000. This was before and consolidating into the Bitcoin halving of 2020. Again, at that moment, even with all of those gains, the bull market had not started. That parabolic phase post-2020, we all, we all remember November 2020, the Bitcoin bull market doors were broken. And that was the catalyst for that last bull cycle where Bitcoin basically approached $70,000. Crazy parabolic gains. So those two cycles... Bitcoin exiting that bear market and approaching the bull market doors wasn't even the bull market. They were nice gains and it was an awesome pivot from bear to bull, a necessary multi-month pivot, a very long pivot. But the true catalyst for the bull market was post those halvings, the Bitcoin halvings. Now enter the cycle that we are currently in. We survived an incredibly brutal crypto bear market. We really did. Like it was the most brutal. Everything that happened, everything that was thrown against crypto, crypto survived. This makes it, I would say, the most bullish bear market that we just survived. And what happened? We bottomed out in the bear market. Bitcoin bottomed out like fifteen to $16,000, I, th I think it was. And then what happened? Exactly what happened in previous bear markets. 
crypto, Bitcoin, escapes the bear market. So that two cycles ago, it escaped like with 400% gains. That wasn't the bull market. The last cycle, it escaped with like 300% gains. That wasn't the bear market. This cycle, Bitcoin escaped the bear market low, 15 to 16,000, ran up, right? We, we had a really incredible run up to like $48,000. Again, the lower high Fibonacci 618 bull market doors. This just happened. Bitcoin saw resistance. It ran up like 200%. So two cycles ago, 400%, we exited, wasn't the bear market. Last cycle, 300%, we exited the bear market, wasn't, wasn't the bull market. This cycle, happening right now, we exited the bear market, higher highs and higher lows for the last year, 200% for Bitcoin, not the bull market. We're in, currently, another retracement. Two cycles ago, it was a 40% retracement. Last cycle... As we mentioned, it was around 50% retracement. So far this cycle off the bull market doors resistance, we're at like 20% or so retracement for Bitcoin. There's still room. The average of the last two cycle retracements off the bull market doors was like, what, 40 to 50%. We're at 20% right now. Will we see 40 to 50% to the downside? I don't know, maybe. Will we see that 30 to $35,000 range for Bitcoin? Maybe, but at the end of the day, not only have we survived the most brutal bear market with everything that was thrown at crypto, regulatory stuff, SEC going after all the exchanges that fell, all the companies that fell, that went under, the, the macroeconomic environment of the world, the globe that we're living in, we survived it all. And the Bitcoin halving has not happened yet. The catalyst for the next parabolic Bitcoin crypto bull run has not even happened yet. So... I just want to say that because I think it's so important just to, to zoom out on this, the macro narrative, the macro cycles of crypto that revolves around the Bitcoin halvings and the scarcity factor and, and talk about scarcity. We have during this consolidation that Bitcoin and crypto is in right now, we have the workings of the greatest supply shock that crypto has ever had. This is the first cycle we're going into where institutional money it's not even like their eyes are on crypto anymore. They're, they, are, they are in crypto now. They are in crypto. Not only with the Bitcoin spot ETFs, Ethereum spot ETF probably going to happen sooner than later. And we have, you know, products like Grayscale looking at and building altcoin funds. They're here. And this is the first cycle that we've had this. So we have the Bitcoin having just months away. It is coming very quickly. And I just really wanted to just put it out there that even the escape of the bear market, the 200% Bitcoin gains, altcoins, many altcoins seeing greater gains than that. This isn't even that parabolic phase of the bull market, the post having bull market after Bitcoin breaks those bull market doors. We have not even have, we have not even entered that area yet. So I just wanted to put those thoughts out there. I know there's a lot of people that are like, man, was that it? Was that the bull market? And, and listen, I have no idea if this will repeat. I have no idea if we're going to break all time highs again. There's so much happening in the world right now. It's an election year. There's, there's so much that could, that could go wrong. Let's just put it that way. There's always risk in these markets. But I'm saying this is based off of if cycles repeat and if the scarcity factor, the supply shock factor really plays into crypto right now, it is going to be epic. It's going to be monumental. So some perspective for the day. I wanted to put that out there instead of just looking at the charts. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, everybody. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, turn notifications on. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'll see you next video. God bless.